Absolutely. Well, how about how about we talk about those falsehoods? We got this report from Newsweek. Half of Joe Biden's Twitter followers yeah. are fake. Come on, man. <laughs> That's Bro. disinformation. I believe this. People was... are going. You're telling me he got 80 million followers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this was true. Also, we were looking at this today at Post Millennial. Uh, I think this was also true of Justin Trudeau's mm. Twitter followers. Most of them are. What is this based fake. off of? Just so. Well, there's an audit, audit company. It's called uh, Spark Tour. So it's based on Dinesh's documentary. That yeah, no, I'm uh, I, because I'm really cynical about this stuff, only because I know when you sign up to Twitter, you're going to get like three people. It's going to be like Joe Biden, Elon mm -hmm. Musk, and like Jack or something. And like, so I don't understand why. So I'd like to look at, I don't know. I'd like to understand the methodology a little bit, what's going on. How I don't know if they it. reveal their methodology. Mm -hmm. And I think they said uh, fake or spam accounts. Mm. And it's, uh, I'm sorry, that was Musk. That was Musk. Well, I guess they said they're, there was like this tweet harvesting going on. It's not on clear for Joe Biden. how Musk arrived at the 20% figure. He figured out well and changed a series of tweets. Anyway. So there's a couple ways to do it. I think Elon may have made a mistake. When Agrawal said it was less than 5%, he said of daily active users. Mm. Mm. Of their active users, the fake accounts comprise of less than 5%. Elon Musk, based on this, said all users must be around 20%. So there's a difference. There are a lot of users that don't do anything. They're counting uh, monthly or daily active users or whatever. But I believe this is uh, um, likely true because it's the at POTUS account. Whenever a bot or a spam bot will sign up, it's going to follow prominent accounts to try and look real. And of course, it's going to follow the president. So that it's like following a bunch of verified accounts. And mm -hmm. here's a big one. Well, isn't it funny how like it's a bunch of accounts with people who we know are not the actual person following an account that we know is not being tweeted by the actual person either. It's like Joe Biden's not <laughs> running the Twitter account. No, the whole I mean, thing is fake. Joe the Biden's not right. running the Twitter account. Yeah. He's not running the no, country. No, believe it. Yeah, exactly. Well, Elon Musk said it's whoever's controlling the teleprompter. Mm. But yeah, Donald Trump actually was tweeting. One so, of, there is yes, no Donald denying Trump that. was actually he, tweeting. He could from, not hire a writer bathroom. to he write was, those things. He was tweeting from the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. Donald Trump, as president. Isn't he that would, how would, everybody tweets? He well, would watch. Dude, he can would, you imagine someone being like, I was Donald Trump's tweet writer, <laughs> like putting that on your resume? No, it was Trump. Well, not, there's no way anyone else said any of he that. Would you imagine he a staffer's would, outside the bathroom reading like, a tweet just being like, what the fuck? He would watch Fox News and then he would tweet it right away. And oh, he'd be no. like, Tucker said this, or did you hear about this? <laughs> then he would go to rallies and he'd repeat it. It was really obvious that he would just watch Fox and then be like, boom, something happened. I, I kind of, I liked it. I mean, oh, yeah. it was a, you know, and, and, you know, being a journalist and seeing Trump just tweet random things was really a lot of fun. You could get like a whole bunch of stories just off of I, what I'm Trump under, was, I was saying on Twitter. I was told by corporate now we do journalists it for Elon that it was, it was violence. That That's every right. every day they had they were there were people <laughs> journalists who were assigned to like there were journalists at news organizations who were told your job is to keep refreshing Trump's Twitter feed and then when he says something write it up oh my goodness and they, they were saying it was violence his tweets they were saying that it was like stressful and that they needed like m you know health days that once <sighs> once he lost the election they're like finally it's over or well, I'm sorry once he got banned. They were like, uh, like I'm crying tears of joy. Like I can go back to normal working now. No more stress. They, they were saying how they would get text messages at two in the morning from their boss, being like, "Trump just tweeted, write it up," and they'd be like, "Ah, 